Aggies, my name is Natalie, and today I'm going to be testing to see if you are smarter than a UC Davis student. I'll be sending out my reporters Luca and Alyssa to ask students on campus UC Davis related questions. Are you ready? Let's go. I'm here with Luca and Alyssa, and today they're going to be going around campus asking students questions to see if you are smarter than a UC Davis student. All right, so the first question is, how many eggheads are there on campus? Nine? Mm. You were really close. <laughs> Was it eight? Mm. You were really close again. Seven? Yeah! Wow. All right, okay, thank you. Have a good day. How many eggheads are there on campus? Seven. Wow, well done. Uh, do you know what year UC Davis was established? Early 20th century. Nineteen oh eight. But thanks for playing. How many how many eggheads are there on campus? <laughs> how many water towers are on UC Davis's campus? I'm scared. I don't want to disturb it. <laughs> okay, okay. What is UC Davis's mascot? It's the cow. <laughs> it is. Uh, what's the official mascot? Gunrock. Yeah. What type of animal is Gunrock? He's some type of horse. Okay, I'll take it. What is UC Davis's mascot? <laughs> What's it called? I think we'll take it. We'll take gun rock. Thanks for playing. <laughs> the original name of UC Davis. I just know that it was, um, what do you call it? It's an extension of Berkeley as their, um, what do you call it? Their agriculture department. I don't know what the name was. UC Davis. <laughs> Well, close. You were definitely the closest. It was the University Farm School. Oh. But it was an extension of Berkeley, so well done. What county is Davis in? Yolo. Perfect. Where can you find Cheeto? No clue. Mm, that's okay. Thank you. <laughs> Do you know what county UC Davis is in? Yolo. Uh, where can you find Cheeto? All right. Oh, physics building. What is the name of the cat by the physics building? Cheeto. What is Gary May's wife's first name? Mm. I don't know. Well done. Thanks for playing. <laughs> Do you know how many water towers are there on Davis's campus? Two. Mm. Nice. Well done. <laughs> Correct. Well done. Uh, Do you know Gary May's wife's first name? Chanel. Mm. Ch Chanel? Mm. That's like kind of close, oh but not Oh my god, really. I literally know it. It's like the second half of the name. I don't know. It's Lachelle, but we'll ask you another question. What is the name of the primary bus systems Davis students take to campus? Unitrans. Well done. Okay, thanks for playing. I got a question for the cow. Um, what is UC Davis's mascot? <laughs> <laughs> you? Okay, I love that. All right, thanks. <laughs> What is the name of the cat who lives near the physics building? Cheeto, I think, Yay! yeah. Okay, good job. Um, what is the name of the primary bus system used by UC Davis? Unitrans. That's right, it is, okay. Um, all right, okay, besides cows and horses, what are three other animals you could find on campus? Alpacas, goats, duck, I guess. Okay, yeah, okay, perfect, thank you. What does ASUCD stand for? It stands for our conservative values, uh, basically promoting a big, big tech sub and uh, uh, yeah. small ASUCD. ASUCD, not whatever this club is, which is great, but ASUCD? Yeah. You know what? Oh, okay, it's there. True. Thanks, thanks for playing. Name, name the four undergraduate colleges at UC Davis. Is it the College of Agriculture? That's one. Science and Letters. Yeah, that's two. Engineering. Okay, that's three. Wait. 
Wait, I said agriculture, letters and uh, science, uh, engineering. engineering. What's the last one? Is it like arts? No, no it's STEM, STEM. STEM. Oh, STEM. No, no, like what is it? Oh, it's like math and science. Mm. It's biological sciences. Okay. That's okay. The first question is, what year was UC Davis established? 1908 as the University Farm, and then in 1959 it was transformed to the UC Davis's uh, solo campus, and it was the seventh UC to be established. Wow, that was really good. My next question actually was going to be, what was the original name of UC Davis? It's University Farm. Wait. University Farm. Wow, that was crazy. That was really good. That was really good. Okay, okay. I take full credit for that. Yeah, you do. All right, the next question is, what does ASUCD stand for? Associate Students of the University of California, Davis. Wow, this is a really good group. Okay. All right, all right. All right, um, name four of the undergraduate colleges at Davis. Okay, College of Biological Sciences, College of Engineering, College of Letters and Sciences, and College of Agriculture and Environmental Sciences. Oh my gosh, perfect, amazing, thank you so much. If you were wondering, we all give tours. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> we found the tour guide group. Okay, thanks y'all. Uh, what is an Aggie? An Aggie is uh, named after <laughs> Spoilers. Yeah, it's uh, it's it's the expansion, I believe, from UC Berkeley. Uh, the, all the agriculture majors essentially moved inwards. <laughs> what? That's that is the correct to a different question. Do you know what an Aggie is? Uh, we refer to it as a horse. It's not a real thing, though, from what I know. Okay, we'll take that. We'll take that. Correct answer. On how many hours does an average cow sit a day? Um, two. <laughs> Yes. yes, well done. C correct. Yeah, thank you for playing. That's it? That was it. Sure. Okay. On average, how many hours do cows chew per day? A thousand. A thousand hours a day? <laughs> oh, oh, hours. Um, let's say a good 17. A lot less than that. Seven. Eight was Eight. the correct answer. But thank you for playing. What is an Aggie, like traditionally? Uh, a UC Davis student. Okay. <laughs> um, like, do you know the origin of where the word Aggie comes from? Mm, no. Uh, that's okay. It comes from a person who, like, is working in the agricultural like, industry. Do cows have teeth? And if so, how many? Yes, and I don't know, but I'm an animal science student. I should know this. You got this. I'm gonna guess 40. That's pretty close. Go a little lower. 36. The correct answer was 32, but as an animal science major, I'm sure you'll learn that eventually. Okay. <laughs> thanks, for thanks for playing. What's it called when someone has a fear of horses? Gunrockophobia. <laughs> oh, I mean, I'm glad that you said it was a phobia. Do you know what it's called? No. Okay, apparently, it's called equinophobia. Equinophobia. Like equine. Equine. Like, equine, like dealing with horses. E equino is like the root suffix for. Oh. It's like Latin. Wow, I didn't know that at all. Well done. If you want another question? I got you. Okay. How do horses breathe? Don't they breathe through their nose? They do. Yeah. What is true about their mouth breathing? Oof. So, it's kind of a bad, that's a hard question. Yeah, that's a hard question. I think it's only like, they only use it like, if like necessary, like if they're, oh, I don't know how to do it, but yeah. <laughs> that was kind of I was just gonna say they can't breathe through the mouth. That was a trick question. Thank you for playing though, we appreciate it. You see Davis, decision day is coming up. Wait, hold on. <laughs> what, those students, those students will be class of what year? 27. Yes, they will be. Good luck, future Aggies. Um, okay. Okay, okay, okay. What is Gary May's wife's name? Oh, uh, no, I met her. Um, <laughs> uh, I know it ends in May, probably. I don't think so. Okay. Do you have any final guesses? No. That's okay. Her, name, her name's Lachelle. Lachelle, that's right. 
Okay, yeah, yeah. I now you'll never know. forget. All right, thank you. All right, thank you. How many hours a day does the average cow sit? I'm gonna say two. It's a lot more than two. <laughs> I feel like it's a lot. I think it's like 14. That's closer, but not quite. 18. It's 10. But we'll keep going. We'll keep going. Uh, on average, how many hours do cows chew per day? 16. Oh, okay. Five. The correct answer was eight, but that's okay. I feel like you guys can get one. <laughs> Question three. Do cows have teeth? And if so, how many teeth do they have? I think they do. They probably have 40. That's pretty close. 45. Lower. 30, 37. Lower. <laughs> Definitely not an odd number. Um, 34. It's 32. You got, come on, guys. All right, last question. How do horses breathe? Breathe or breathe? Breathe. That's correct. Well done. Thank you guys for playing. Nat said the first one back to the spot doubles their chance. But should I just find someone out there? And she's already there again. <laughs> she's literally right there. She's literally right there. That's crazy. Uh, that's a little so suspicious. Um, that's crazy. Points have been calculated. And the winner is Luca with 18 points because he got back to the meeting spot first. And Alyssa with a whopping 10. Oh, okay, hooray. <laughs> <laughs> nice try, nice try. Thank you for watching to see if you are smarter than a UC David student. My name's Natalie. I'm Luca. And I'm Alyssa. And stay tuned for all things Aggie.